Welcome back to Spitballing Cards. In today's video, we're talking all about free agency, and we're going to be predicting who is going where. And then in spring training, or maybe the start of the year, if some players still haven't signed, we'll see who did the best, right? So maybe Ty, if you wouldn't mind taking like a tracker and kind of saying who picked what. Phil's not here, so he'll have to just add him in later, and we'll see what he says. Okay, with that being said, it's me, Scott, we have Chris, we have Jeff, and we have Ty. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go to this article from The Athletic. They are ranking the top free agents based off of, you know, number one being Juan Soto, of course. And we're going to talk about that player and then predict where we think he's going to go. So Juan Soto, not much introduction is needed, right? He is potentially an all-time great. He's only 26 years old, just hit 26 years old like last week. And he is going to command arguably, actually probably the largest contract in baseball history, potentially. He could beat the Otani contract. So where do we think Juan Soto is going to go? I will let you go first, Chris. Where do you think? Is he a Yankee or is he going somewhere else? I, I think Juan Soto ends up a New York Met. And I think the contract will be like, oof, what they actually had in the athletic. I don't want to look like I'm, I'm just taking their number. I think they had 15, 622. I was going to say something like uh, 15, 6, because I feel like, I don't know. Does he care more about annual annual average value or just total value? If he wants to get up over like Trout's 41, I think, or whatever Trout signed for. But I think he's going to the Mets. And he's probably going to, it's going to cross $600 million. Okay. What about you, Jeff? What are you thinking? Where's your pick? Uh, I think he's staying with the Yankees. I feel like their fans would, uh, will revolt if they let him leave. Um, maybe it's wishful thinking because I think, as a Soto collector and fan, I would like to see him there. And I think that bodes better for his hobby than moving across town. I do think he's also going to be a uh, $600 million man. I was thinking, uh, I was thinking he might even get something like a, a 12, 12 year, 600 million. Yeah. I think his AAV is going to be higher. Either his AAV is going to be higher than what the athletic is predicting because they're predicting his AAV at like 42 million, 41.2, just above Trout. Or he's going to get just a longer contract at that AAV. Like he's only 26. I think people are going to say we can extend him until he's 41 and just eat the last three or four years and not worry about those because we're going to get enough revenue in the short term to not worry about it. So I, I actually wouldn't be surprised if he gets 650 plus, especially if, if the Mets and Yankees are going at it. Just to uh, just to go along with that point of all the superstars or stars even that are currently playing, his game might be best built to be able to hit until he's forty. Yeah. So yeah, I don't really know might burn those last couple of years. I do think it's interesting. Look at the oops, wrong button. Look at the salary comps. Otani ten years, seven hundred million. Then you have Trout twelve years, four twenty six. Mookie twelve years, three sixty five. Judge nine years, three sixty. He's going to like almost double these guys. Mookie, he might double if he gets to 700, which is insane to think about. Ty, where do you think Juan Soto is going to sign? Uh, I think he's going back to the Yankees. I don't think he's going to the Mets. I think I would say Dodgers before Mets, which I know is kind of probably a long shot, but they may also just go crazy and decide to just spend a whole bunch of money and keep going and keep winning. That would be mighty terrifying for all of baseball uh, to get him into that lineup. But I think he's going back to the Yankees. I think he had a really good year. Um, you know, he's hitting in a good spot. The fans love him. I did see a lot of stuff that said he's, you know, wants to win. Um, obviously, didn't finish the year the way he obviously would have hoped for. But um, the Yankees were pretty competitive. Yeah. And I did see a fun headline that said, don't be surprised if the Tigers are aggressive in trying to get, get Juan Soto. But... I'm not sure Juan Soto is going to be too aggressive in wanting to join the Tigers, hmm. uh, but I'm I'm going to pick the Yankees. There's a team that I wish would go for Juan Soto, but won't because I don't really know why, but they just won't. And that's the Atlanta Braves. It makes so much sense. They have all these cheap contracts on the books of star players for like the next like five or six years at the good window. Hmm. Go get one big contract on arguably like one of the best players you can get at this young age. And then they have an amazing line. I know they already have a good lineup, but they all took regress this last year, and Soto would help. Yeah. They won't. I know, Chris. Wouldn't that be amazing? I mean, I give you a couple of reasons why they definitely won't. Though all those long-term deals, they're not that cheap anymore. Uh, they got, those guys are locked up, and they're below market value probably, but they're not like super cheap. They're also owned by a corporation at the end of the day yeah. that does not want to run a deficit with their team. Whereas, like, 
I don't think the Dodgers or the Yankees owner, well, the Yankees owner might care, but certainly Steve Cohen could not care less in the Mets. Like what about what their profitability is? I don't think. Um, I also just want to say if he does sign with the Mets, the big winners here and something to look out for would be, and this is going to sound weird, but like judge Bobby Witt, Gunnar Henderson, Jose Ramirez, like the American league is getting really thin with stars and the American league MVP yeah. suddenly looks like it won't be that hard to win over the next like five years if Soto's gone. Whereas the NL MVP is going to be, you know, a pretty aggressive battle every single year. But I mean, judge could rattle off like three in a row. If he can come anywhere near this level of production and have it's not funny. have Soto there. It's yeah. funny you say that because the NL was so weak this year, Yeah, but it's going to change. Cause if Mookie yeah. would have stayed healthy, he would have been an eight war guy. If you know, there's a lot of ifs, but like Wit, Gunner, Judge, they all could have beat Lindor for number two. Uh, I'm forgetting someone too. Soto, yeah. There's four players. So it'll be interesting. Um, but Juan Soto, I'm saying I would not be surprised if he is a Met. I hope he goes to the Yankees um, so I could watch him and Judge together. But I think the, if he is truly looking for the most money, the Mets will give him the most money. If that is what he wants, he'll go to the Mets. If he wants to win, not saying he won't win with the Mets. I think they actually have a really good window, honestly. And there, a lot of money came off their books. But I could see him taking a small discount to go to the Yankees. But I think he's going to be a Met. That's my guess. You think he's going to be a Met? I hope he stays with the Yankees. I do. I don't want him in the NL East, but uh, we'll see. Either. The Yankees need a lot more to their roster than they do. Soto. That's the issue. And if they don't want to sign Juan Soto, it actually might be better for them, which I right. think sounds dumb if they're willing to spend the same amount of money this offseason. Yeah. So, all right, well, what, what landing thing. spot is best for Juan Soto cards? I think that's oh. pretty obvious, right? Pretty obvious. The New York Yankees stand there, stand there for yeah. sure. I mean, we've talked yeah. at length about players who hop teams, uh, losing a little bit of their collectability. That's one uh, one reason leaving would would hurt his cards, and the other is just the Yankees have such a huge market and a huge fan base. If he he, I, I know Chris has mentioned before, he could play his way into a into a statue out there in the outfield if he's there oh, yeah. through his thirties. I, yeah, I think if he goes to the Mets, let's talk about that. If he does go to the Mets, what happens to his cards in the short and long term? I wish Phil was here. Cause he yeah. short term down. He'd be good. Yeah. yeah short term, term They probably, they'll eventually come back because the Mets will slowly become good. Agreed. They but were I mean, in the NLCS this year. Yeah. And like they, they're a solid team. They did a good job. Like yeah, but I mean, like Soto, I, it's crazy to say this, but they're going to lose Manaya, Quintana, and Severino. And defying all logic, those three pitchers were really good for them. Yes, they have they have a lot of holes to fill. Uh, you know, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go big. Okay, that's Juan Soto. I think that's enough Soto talk. Yeah, so, what, quick quick question though, because with with the Yankees, like when we talk about these big mega contracts, these are superstars. They drive a lot of butts and seats, but the Yankees don't really have problems with butts and seats. Like, do you? We saw that Instagram reel, you know, somebody talking about how like the Yankees or maybe any team would be better off spending what they're going to on a Juan Soto $600 million contract instead on like five players yeah. who are in pre that, you know, would, would, would round out their entire roster, their entire depth chart from pitching to hitting. Would the Yankees be better off going out and getting like a Pete Alonzo or a Christian Walker to fill first base? And to go out and get, you know, somebody to replace Glaber Torres and to go out and get some more pitching and like so round out their roster rather than going after Soto, or is it a good idea to like pay up, pay that big to, to get him? My thoughts. I've actually thought about this a lot. So let's say they don't get Juan Soto. Let's say he's, you know, huge contract. They're gonna they I don't know if they get Alex Bregman. I don't know if the 2017 scandal is gonna throw him off, but you get Bregman, you move Jazz to second. Okay. So now you have and you get Christian Walker. Christian, Christian Walker and Alex Bregman. I have Christian Walker, Jazz Chisholm, Anthony Volpe, Alex Bregman as your infield. That's good. You can move Judge back to right field, which I think is going to be important. You have Stanton at the DH. So basically at that point, then they can go get a good defensive center fielder, which they obviously need. And then they can have Jason Dominguez. He actually, he'd probably play center field. And you're just looking at left field. Like I think it probably makes more sense because that gives you money to sign someone like Corbin Burns. So if you get Christian Walker, Corbin Burns, Alex Bregman, that probably does more than just Soto, but I don't know. Soto's the type of guy you invest in, though. Yeah. All right. Let me let me throw a haymaker here, or uh, what what percentage of possibility would a, would a trade like this 
Does a trade like this potentially work? The Yankees send Stanton and the remaining years of his contract to the Angels, and the Angels send Trout and the entirety of his contract to the Yankees. Who says no? I don't know. I think the Yankees might say no because Stan's off the books in two years. Is it two? I think is it. I thought it was more than two. It, Stan, uh, play, Stan played in the playoffs this year and was really good. <laughs> he was. He was. Because Stan, oh. his the last year of his contract is a club option that if they buy, if they say no, the Marlins have to pay it. So <laughs> they only the have one the year. While Trout has forty one million dollars and he's like the next like eight years. He's got six years left. Six years. That's what it yep. is. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Mike Trout has so much upside still, though. I don't think people realize that. He's got upside and downside, but yeah, it's it would be uh, it would be really interesting to hear that conversation. But anyway, I just, I just thought I'd, th- I'd throw that out there, mostly for the people in the comments. Like, let us know what do, what do you what do you think about that trade? Who says no to that? One, two, three years. This year is the club option, but they're not okay. going to take. That. Are so, we going to yeah. talk about Bregman? Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna talk about. Bregman. Okay, I'll wait until the Bregman. Corbin so, Burns. Where's Corbin Burns signing? I'll go with you first, Chris. Oh, man, I went first last time. Um, okay, the so the Orioles should re-sign Corbin Burns, right? I mean, he was incredible for them, and he is exactly what they needed and exactly what they still need. But I, I don't I don't know if they're going to pony up the money. I, I just don't. So I'm going to say there will be a change of direction, and the Boston Red Sox are going to swoop in and sign Corbin Burns. You think? Because that that is what they need. They need an ace they can put at the top of that uh, at top of that rotation. Okay. All right, Ty. What do you think? Oh, this one, I feel like I don't really know. This is a wide open. Maybe the Tigers. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a, somebody go out. No, it's not going to be the Tigers. Um, do the Tigers still speak not- to Boris after the Javi Baez in, uh, contract, or, or do they just they just block his phone number now? I have try. Yeah, hopefully not. He owes um, him one. So. Yeah, I, I, mm, I don't think he's going to end up back with Baltimore for some reason. Um, Snell's a free agent too, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Snell's a like, could could the Giants make a play on Burns? Sure. Yeah. The Giants have a lot of money to spend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to say the Giants. I don't know. I don't know where he's going to wind up. I feel like there's a lot of teams that could be vying for him. It should be. Maybe the Giants. I'll just say the Giants. All right. All right, Jeff. All right. Um, this is it. This is Burns' big payday. This is what he's been waiting for. This is why we knew he wasn't going to stay with the Brewers. Uh, and as such, I think he's going to go to the highest bidder, and I think that's going to be Steve Cohn. I think he's going to want uh, a pitcher. Chris mentioned all the pitchers that are going to be leaving. Uh, so I feel like he's going to throw a lot of money at him, and Burns is going to go to New York and play for the Mets. Mm. Look at the bottom of this page that Scott's sharing, the salary comps. If you're oh, a yeah. team Robert. and you see this, Strasburg, DeGrom, and Aaron Nola, like, there's a lot of money for nothing. Two guys who don't money. pitch anymore and another guy who never became the guy they thought he would be. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. I got to show this real quick. Corbin Look Burns how- should be mad about that. Scott, where's he going? You got to tell I'm us what you think. The Mets. I'm going to say everybody goes to the Mets, so that way I get most right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that way your Lindor portfolio He's goes up. He's a Met. Anyways, but really, like, look how good he's been. 211 ERA, 243, oh, yeah, 249, 292. He's fantastic. Yeah, he's going to be his, his fifth year in the uh, top 10, yeah. I Young. Chris, yeah. if he goes to the Mets, can you make sure to buy some of his cards? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Whoever the Mets sign, I will absolutely oh, buy Oh, good. Some I've got a lot. I'll I'll, uh, yeah. I'll look to sell them to Chris. Yeah. I got to so level buy, the playing field. Buy all the Mets, Chris. Yep. Speaking yeah. of the Mets, let's talk about the Mets. Sorry, not the Mets. Corbin Burns cards, as I meant to say. <laughs> People have asked me, what about his cards? Are they a good investment? I would say no. It's 17.2 war. But oh, they're a terrible investment. People are really speculating on Corbin Burns. <laughs> no. Like, Don't I, do it. Are I you going to buy it? If anybody wants some, come, come and Don't talk to me. Don't do it. Jeff just dropped the hammer on Corbin Burns. I like it. Jeff's yeah, I would not buy his cards either. Wham. Don't do it. Wow. Okay. This next one I think should be quick but maybe it won't be Roki Sasaki from Japan. If they post him, which looks like it's going to happen. He did not agree to his contract. He's looking for like the Shohei Otani deal. He's going to be paying. I think the highest he can get paid is like 2.5 million at the international slot money this year. I'm not mistaken. 
I, there is an obvious team for me, if I had to guess. Uh, but I will go with you first, Chris. Unless you, unless you don't want to go first. I can go first. You go too. first, Scott. You he's a dog. We know you, you've already predicted all the all yeah. the picks are going to go to the Steve Cohen sets. He's a Dodger. The Yankees, I think, are in the backup for Sasaki, but he's a Dodger mm-hmm. to me. Um, the reason I say that is they have a lot. They have the most money, I believe, to give him. But obviously, this is going to be – Dodgers are going to become Japan's team, it feels like. And if they have Yamamoto, Otani, and Sasaki pitching for them, that's going to be awesome for baseball, honestly. And it would be really fun to watch. And I think there's a lot of incentive for him to go there. And so the Dodgers are going to get one of the best free agent pitchers for $2 million. This is going to make everybody mad. That's my guess. Anybody disagree? No. No. I'll do that. Yes. You can see me. Maybe outside. I, I, I don't think Dodgers. he's going to go to the Dodgers. I really don't. I don't think he's okay. going to go to the Dodgers. Where, Where is he going? going? Where is he going? That's a great question. I think well, he's going. Why don't what? you think he's going to the Dodgers? If like Because like, not everyone is just going to go to the Dodgers. And I do think, I mean, does he want to be, there is probably something appealing about being reunited I'm with right. his like, Two uh, Japanese baseball legends. Okay, sure, I'm, I'm sure that's a draw. On Going to the Dodgers, Dodgers, you'd make a lot of money on endorsements. He would everywhere, oh, but you make most yeah. of the Dodgers, in my opinion. So, like, that's, that's another reason to win. So, where yeah. I totally get it, but I just don't want to agree with all of you because it's gonna that's <laughs> gonna be boring. So, I'm saying that Roku Sasaki is gonna be the main number one target of my Atlanta Braves, and I think that's where he's going. Oh, really? Dang! All right, all right, love it. He may be a player to look at the cards up. That, I said that so that poorly, age, yeah. but he's 22 and he has a lot of good stuff. So he could be someone, one of the young pitchers who actually might be looking at, in my opinion. Has he had no pitcher, but, anybody know? Has he had one or two Tommy Johns yet? Yeah, let's look. <laughs> and I, if, if he does sign with the Braves, I will not buy his cards. I don't care how good he is. I don't care what his numbers are. I will, I'll stay away. Yeah. Pair him up with Spencer Strider. Uh, yeah. Uh, he hasn't had one yet. So figure... If you're signing them, count 18 months of that contract being out because he's no doubt going to need it. Oh, yeah. All righty. Okay, well, that's Sasaki. Next okay. up, Garrett Cole. He already signed at the Yankees. We're going to skip Yeah, that. they agreed to, to have him stay there. So This one's for you, Chris. Max Freed. I don't know how you feel about Max Freed, actually. I love him. You like Max Freed? Where's yeah, he going? how can I not? I mean, he got his ankle stomped on in game six of the World Series and just stood up and threw six scoreless innings like right down Houston's throat. I, I love Max Fried and I, I hope he stays, but I also know he's from out here. Um, he went to Harvard Westlake. I mean, I my guess would be that this is the guy who signs with the Dodgers. There's a I, I, I think, think too. the yeah. thing is they didn't put him on the they don't even mention that there. That's crazy yeah. because that's all I've heard as well. If I had to guess who's going to the Dodgers, I'd guess Snell of all the pitchers. I mean, the thing is, like, we could just guess Dodgers and Mets for most of these guys. True. Do they all have to filter yeah. through those two teams before they yes. go anywhere else, most likely? Yes. They have to pass on them or not offer them a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, this and the same right thing, yeah, these that's salary hard. comps, gee. Oof. That's bad. That's bad. Aaron Nola's deal is fine. Tyler Glasnow's deal is fine. Well, yeah. Nola's just one year in. So yeah. is I mean, I, I hope they re-sign Freed. I hope that the like they they um they dumped Jorge Soler. Like, yes, there's always a to paraphrase um Liam Neeson in in the Star Wars Force Awakens, Jeff. Uh, there's always a dumber fish, and thankfully the Angels are uh, the dumbest fish. They're uh, always there to help that. other teams. Yeah. Um. So that was great, and they didn't pick up Darno's option. So maybe they are saving money. Or trying to get some cash together to keep Max Freed. I hope they do. I would love for them to keep Max Freed, but it just seems like he's, he's heading out the door. Okay, Phantom Max. Menace. You had the wrong star. Rated. Rated. Oh, it is Phantom Menace. You're right. Thank you. And there's always a bigger fish, but I thought you were making a Star Wars joke being dumb. Uh, no, so I was. I said I was paraphrasing. I was just changing my oh. line to suit my uh, to suit my needs. I thought you were Bye. taking a shot at the sequels, which is fine. I don't want to anyway. upset any Star Wars fan base that may or may not be watching our show. All right, so what do you guys? I said Max Free Dodgers. What do you guys think? Ty, where you take it? Where are you putting him? I'm gonna say the Red Sox. Nah, I was gonna say the Red Sox too. I uh, was gonna say the Red Sox too. Wow. All right. Well, then, then I will go with Dodgers. I was trying to be a little different, but um, well, yeah. Now you're not. Now you're just following Chris. Yes. Now I'll follow now you're Chris. making it look like you're the lesser of Blavin. Well, that's true. <laughs> Damn. 
Uh, yeah, but I think, I think his, his ties out here are pretty strong. And I'm, I'm just, yeah. I'm, the athletic knows a lot more than right. we do. And I'm surprised they didn't even mention that as a possible mm-hmm. team. Maybe it's because we the Dodgers are with hockey and they don't need a pitcher. Well, the, oh, you saw this the hard part to predict in all of this, the hard part to predict in all of this are the dominoes, the timing of who signs first and who waits. Yep. And that's, what's hard about being a general manager. It's like, you know, do I, well, that's the blessing and the curse of being a general manager. One of those top five payroll teams, all the other general managers have to sit and wait till these guys sign. And then they get the true. leftover. True. Yeah. True, true. True. So the Dodgers next year have under contract. I think they gave Walker Bueller a qualifying offer. Didn't they? Oh, I don't know. Did they? I'm pretty sure they gave Walker for him. They might have. And I would not be surprised if Bueller took it as a one-year cushion deal. If they gave it to him, why not? Yeah. But Walker also proved he could shove in the playoffs. Oh, they did not extend to Walker Bueller. Yeah. I, I I, 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 it's kind of crazy they didn't. I mean, what's $20 million to the Dodgers? It's nothing. That's, like, that's their parking revenue from the playoffs. So under contract, they have Tyler Glass now and Yamamoto. And then they have Bobby Miller and a couple other guys like that. But Kershaw's going to come back to the Dodgers. He basically already said it. So they have those four. And if they get Sasaki, that's going to be those five. So they really don't need much. Plus, they have a bunch of minor league guys. Yeah, All five of those guys are going to be on the aisle. Like, this year to their starters. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Dustin May will be back, I think, this next year, right? Plus others. Dustin May has had more surgeries than my mom at this point in his life. And he's like 24 years old. I wouldn't trust Dustin May to stay healthy for a weekend. I, I I can't I think that I think Dodgers will go like nine starters deep if they have to. They do not want to be in the yeah, situation. How many are you gonna get out of Kershaw? Are you planning for 12 starts from him? Yeah. It's seven this year. Yeah. Okay, so freed cards. Anybody own any freed cards here? I, I actually do. don't think I own any Max Freed. I have cards. his uh, stadium Hardly. club rookie auto. Oh, there you go. 24 wars, not bad for a pitcher, but yeah, he's so cheap. So I don't cheap think guy. he's gonna be super collected. Okay, next up, Peter Alonzo. What do we think of Pete? Where's he going to go? Chris, we're starting you going down. Chris, Ty, and then Jeff. Where is Pete Alonso going to go? Yeah. So wow. one team that would make sense. It's weird to me that the Mets haven't just like extended this guy because the fan base seems to love him. Yeah. So I don't get it. There's something there. I'm not sure if he's just, you know, trying to get his way too much money. I, I honestly don't know. Um, but I always liked this guy. I thought the home run derby stuff was really fun. He's got a great nickname. He has one of my favorite um, SSSP baseball cards out there. Polar bear. Yeah, the polar bear card in 2020 is just is just awesome. I love that idea. I wish a Braves player had a cool nickname like that and they could just put an animal on his card. But the Seattle Mariners are absolutely desperate for offense. And I don't know what they're going to be able, who they're going to be able to convince to go up there. Um, but if the Mets don't lock this guy down, I could see it being him. So it's either the Mariners or the Orioles seem to me like two teams that probably could use some with his. I also think the Yankees record? could be in play, to be honest with you. I don't care. They need another right-handed slugger who strikes out 200 plus times. I don't, I don't sure. care. I mean, I'm playing Seattle. All my official statement, Seattle for Pete Alonso for the, for the purpose of our bet. Okay. I'm going to say this is we're not going to talk about this guy in this episode. You know, who I think would be a great fit for the Yankees. Paul Goldschmidt. He's going to bounce back next year. Good defensive first baseman. He'll be cheap. He makes so much sense to them, in my opinion. Be like when Mark Mark Deshera went there. Yeah, yeah, I, I think he'll bounce back. If you want a worse, you can be a platoon of left-handed hitters. He's actually one of the top five hitters all time against lefties. So, like, I could see that for sure. Actually, yeah, I really. Could. No, he could absolutely. be a cheap stop if they get Soto. They're signed like a Paul Goldschmidt would be like who they have to get for first. Is he a free agent, Scott? Yeah, yeah, and he's got a good oppo, good oppo swing too. Oh, he mm-hmm. would have so many home runs there. I looked on baseball savant. He had like 40 more home runs if he played in that stadium for his career. So anyways, look at that again? that's what I wanted to look at with, with Alonzo. That's what I was trying to look at. So you like, go to there and page. Uh huh. So we're going to go to Paul Goldschmidt and then you can go to, go to Alonzo, go to Alonzo. Cause that's what I was just trying to look up is, but I couldn't figure out how to find where. So you go to his page, and then it's just down here under expected home runs per park. He actually – his game does not translate to Yankee Stadium well at all. No, he's hard pull. Oh, I see. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Cincinnati's center, funny. Center, center, Cincinnati. But you're looking at, like, Philadelphia. He'd be great, it looks like. Seattle looks favorable. Where is Seattle? They're in the middle. 
So the red is what you want. Black is like neutral, and the blue is below what he's done. I believe mm, how it works. I see. So, um, yeah, but like we're talking about Paul Goldschmidt. He's going to Great American Ballpark. Let's go. Well, we got to finish. Finish Alonzo. Get out of Goldschmidt. We have to finish the predictions yeah, for Alonzo. I said Alonzo. Seattle. Ty, where's he going? Seattle. That's where's where going? I was. That's where I was going to go. Was Seattle? Um, Man, I can't find it. Anyways. Mm. Mm. I'm I'm just mm, I'm gonna go Seattle. I think Seattle. Right. That's I'm going with. I'm copying. Right. That's really no where I was going. Yeah. I like how they have the uh, Nationals as a best team fit. Yeah. I can't see them poning up this money. No. But boy, Pete Alonso, he's just his value probably got amongst the the biggest bumps from his postseason performance. Yeah. Because he's been a little bit of an afterthought. He's not a huge war guy, but he does put up those big home run numbers or has in the past. But if he gets that prediction of $190 million contract, that's that's pretty great for him. Yeah, Jeff, uh, I've never been happier that the Braves have a first baseman locked up than when I saw that <laughs> prediction for uh, <laughs> for Pete Alonso. Good uh, Lord, that's going to age horribly. But anyway, go on. It is. But yeah, maybe. Uh, so in, in that case, maybe the Orioles take him on as another Chris Davis type contract. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, I, I hadn't even thought about Seattle. That's not, I like the, the uh, what you guys are saying. It makes sense. To, and it's going to take something like that to convince somebody to come up there. But I'm going to just throw, uh, oh, man. I, I just don't, if he wasn't, if he was going to stay with the Mets, I don't know why they hadn't extended him. So this goes back to what Chris was saying. Mm, All right. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the, the Red Sox well. I think he's going to go to Boston. Okay, I think he's a Met. If they don't sign Soto, they're getting Pete Alonso back. So sure. I, I think one of those two is basically not guaranteed. That's not how it works. But I think one of those two will be a Met. He's so going to be a DH by next year. He'll be a Met. How was the defense this year? Are there any Pete Alonso cards that any of you have any interest in? I like that Polar Bear one. I really, really like. I don't even know what it's been selling for or if it has sold lately. But I don't own any Pete Alonso cards. I don't own any, and I, I will not be buying one. I know we have a big Pete Alonso fan um, amongst our uh, viewers, so we're not besmirching or speaking ill of Pete Alonso. Because no. he does. I think he has an outside. If he can stay on the field, he has an outside shot at like 450, maybe 500 home runs if he goes to – what about Colorado? Are they going to throw any money around? They have yeah, Chris they're... Bryant at first base. And that's ah, so they're all set then, yeah. They won't. They they can't afford it. They, they have like the worst contract ever. Not Yeah. So. Yeah, exaggerating. He has 226 home runs through the 29 season. If he can just hit a couple 45 home run seasons, yeah, yeah, average 35 for the next six years, it gets kind of interesting. Yeah, the, that's, that's yeah. a lot to ask, though. That's not yeah. that's not easy. This, this year was a little disappointing with his power, right? Because he didn't miss any games, he played the entire season and only yeah. had 34 home runs. And there were some people with yeah. pretty hefty home run totals. A 123 OPS is good. But it just feels like a 788 OPS is just bad. Yeah. I know that's just that baseball's like MLB op- average league offense is down, but like, man, you feel like Pete Alonso should have like a 900 OPS. It's yeah. interesting. You look at that. His OPS plus was the same in the last two years, but his OPS fell 30 points. And his 12, average 12 less homers and 30 less RBIs. And his average went up 30 points. <laughs> oh, yeah. what, a, what an um, interesting character. I don't know. Maybe he plays second base in Boston. That's what I think. Also, can I point this out? Look at this update that they did. They added war to the main page. So you can have war right here versus having to scroll down to the player value. It's great. Great. Yeah. Yeah, It's awesome. I I love it. Also have the playoff stats here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's me too. So anyway. Yeah. All right. Pilonzo. Alex Bregman. I am going to say he's a Yankee. He's a New York Yankee. How big is the contract they expect? Seven years, 200 million? Oh my God! But look at look at his career WAR versus Alonzo. He's got more than double Alonzo's WAR, and they're about the same age. The, wow. People are gonna die when I say this, and that's okay. I'm not saying he's going to. He has an outside chance in the Hall of Fame with 40 WAR through age 30. I'm saying like he outside chance. He's had a great career in a full season. Yeah, he's I, only I, one season with less than four WAR in his career. Yeah, I don't see it. Um, yeah, where does he go? I mean, yeah, what, what what kind of stain or stigma is on him? That's the only reason the Yankees. I'm don't, I don't know. Think any at this point. I, I don't know if the yeah. I don't know if Judge wants him in the clubhouse. I really, I really don't. 
Um, yeah, that's a good point. We saw the same conversation with Josh, Josh Donaldson and Garrett Cole when Garrett Cole was a free agent and Josh Donaldson and him were chirping at each other and then they became teammates and everything was fine. I think people at the end of the day when they want to win are just – they'll whack them just about anything. I, I agree. I agree. Hmm. All right. So I'm saying that the time. Someone else go first. Jeff. I'll go first. Uh, okay. Go, go ahead. ahead. I was I'm, I think he stays with the Astros. All right. And I hope he does not go to the Tigers. I don't know why they're listed on there, but I don't want that at all. I think Alex Bregman, of everybody we've talked about so far, is going to be the biggest contract bust of everybody on this list. You think? Wow. Yep. I would say free just because he's a pitcher. Nope. To hedge my bets. Uh Okay, sure, maybe of 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 hitters, of positional players, not of pitchers. Over Alonzo, huh? Alonzo's. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Actually, I think Alonzo could deliver decent decent uh hitting batting value for many more years. I think I I don't know why. I don't know why. It may be because I had Bregman on my fantasy team this year and took him too high and I'm just bitter cuz he I thought he was going to have a better year than he did, but yeah. if you look at his last 3 years, it's not really that special, and uh, it's a lot of money. I mean, and he's I not been bad. He's had an OPS plus of 134, sure. 122, 118 with 265, yeah. and he won a gold glove this year. So he's yeah. not like he's dumb. Four I, don't know. I think he's staying with the Astros. I, I think uh, I think he's going to stay there, maybe even retire there. Who knows? But I feel like he's going to um, fall off. That's just my gut, and that's yeah. that's all it is. But I did not anticipate good. defending – Alex Bregman on this episode. I just, I, I, yeah, I mean, early in his career, I thought he was on a Hall of Fame trajectory too. I mean, he had two top five MVP finishes by the time he was 25. I don't know what his war was then, but it was a lot. It was like 20 war by the time he was 25. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. he was definitely on that track. He's looked very average, a little above since then. Yeah, 22.8 war. That's That's great. Um, so I, I was going to say that he's going to stay with Houston because I think they value him the most. Uh, just to mix it up, maybe I'll say he'll go to the uh, the Northwest. I'll say he'll go to the Mariners. Mm. Okay. All right. Number eight, we have Blake Snell. Oh, hold, wait, on, wait. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Chris, pick. Sorry, Chris. Yep. No, I wanted to go last. I I just don't think he's that good. I mean, that's I a sub eight hundred <laughs> OPS from a corner infielder. He, he can he can't hit thirty home runs in Houston. And I, the left field wall in Houston is like, I don't know, 290 feet from home, from home plate. I just, I would be shocked. I'll phrase it exactly this way. He should just stay where he is. That's probably where he's most comfortable. It's the team that's probably the most comfort with him. But yeah. as I've said before, there's always some idiot team that's going to throw around a bunch of money. And I, oh, I don't know who that's going to be. I, I, I wanted to say that the Angels might do it, but they've already wasted so much money on one third baseman. They're not going to do it again. So I'm going to say he'll stay in Houston, I think. I just don't think he's going to be welcomed elsewhere. So he's playing know. in the second best home run park for his swing in baseball. The only other place is Great America Ballpark with 241 projected home runs since he debuted. He has 239 in Houston versus 153 with the Yankees. 100 less home runs if you'd have played all of his games in New York because it just doesn't translate there very well. So like yeah, that's yeah. the type of thing I wonder if teams pay attention to. I'm because they Sure they do. That's crazy. That's a huge drop. A hundred home runs. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. All right. All right. Next He's up. Back. Sorry. Blake so Snell. Who, Chris, who did you say? Sorry. You I said, said he stays with the Astros. I was a the, the, it was a cheap, cowardly okay. guess. Blake Snell. Oh, makes sense. So there's a couple trains of thought here. The Yankees offered him a contract last year of $150 million, or at least that's the rumor that they offered yeah. him. And he declined it looking for a larger deal. So it makes you wonder if the Yankees are still going to be as high on him. Uh, he's a very high risk, high reward player. So high risk, high reward. 31 years old. Like, what are you paying for here? Um, I do think he'll get a much, I think he'll get close to these prices, 100 to $180 million, right? But where do you think he's going to go? Jeff. Start from the bottom. I'm going to go with, uh, with the Yankees. I think he'll end up there. I think they're willing to take that risk. I like how here it says he's uh, pitched more than 130 innings once since 2018, and now it's going to be 2025. That's not a lot of durability. Uh, hopefully Cole will stay healthy and be durable this year to pick up that slack. But I can see him. Uh, I can see him going to the Yankees. 
I'm gonna say I don't. I'm just gonna say something crazy. I'm gonna say the Blue Jays. And I don't know. I, I want to say something. I want to say something against the grain. Somebody we right. haven't talked about. I'm gonna say the Blue Jays. All right. He's he's going to Baltimore. I I, I feel I don't know why, but I feel Ooh. fairly confident about this. This is where the Orioles put their money. Wow. So what how, what kind of deal do you think he gets compared to Burns then? Shorter, uh, shorter length, but maybe higher annual value. Maybe he gets like five years, two hundred million. Gee, boss, you think that'd be uh, a good use of that money? I, I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that's that what I think. I think a year. I, I could see someone offering him that. Like he was that's crazy. He I was mean, really good for that. But man, I could see five I mean, years. He did a great year. Well, look at his. What was his WAR this year? Two, two point one. Yeah. Yep, two point four three FIP. Twenty starts. You slowly ease him into it, you know? So you get those 20 starts starting like June 1st through October. Well worth it, I think. He had a good year. He really did. He did. When he played, he didn't come yeah. He didn't pitch. Until well, to yeah. end 3.1 ERA after how bad he started, it's not bad. No. He leads all time in Major League Baseball history strikeouts per nine, which is kind of crazy. Wow. That's yeah. an all-time goal. You don't see those very often. Yeah, but he uh, he doesn't pitch more than five innings usually. Right, so. five innings, nine innings, right? So, yeah, I was kind of speculating on the Dodgers as a team here, so now I don't feel too good about myself. I just can't see like Andrew Friedman's a really smart guy. I just don't think it would make sense to pair Blake Snell with Tyler Glass now. Yeah, maybe you need a workhorse innings eater. No, like, that's just too much. Still? Right? <laughs> Ty, have you guessed yet? Yeah, he said the yeah. Blue Jays. He said the Blue Jays. Try to say the Mets. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they went out and signed Burns and Snell. The and Mets. 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 He's a Met. All right. He's a Met. Texas Rangers. Freddie Peralta. Guys, I have no idea I'm Freddie Peralta. I, only want to, I think I eight, eight's probably good. I don't even know who Freddie Peralta is. Let's just pick free agents we want to talk about. Santander. Let's talk about him. That's more fun. Okay. I, I would oh, be scared. What about Adamas? I yeah. can't believe Adamas is not higher on this list. Well, yeah, Adamas should be like that MLB why list. He why was is number Freddie five. Peralta higher than Willie Adamas? Because pitching is valuable nowadays. No. But Santander, thirty twenty shortstop. Jeez, yeah. where's Santander going? Santander? Thirty years old. He had forty home runs last year. He did. Only he two more. Really good year. He had a really kind good of year. An, kind of like a not an empty bat. That's not the right way to say it. But like, so he's not, a he would be a nice little if he could. Yeah. I, I assume he could play left field at Yankee Stadium. He would be he would be the biggest bust with the Yankees. He just has it written all over him as like a Yankees bust, doesn't he? I don't know. I don't know. Lefty swing. The he's Yankees kind of a, he's kind of he's kind of Ozunish, isn't he? Is he the last Ozunish? thing the Yankees need in their lineup is a two thirty five hitter. Well, true, but true. I know. You go no. All right. Well, if you want to count him, I'll say Seattle again. I, feel like I was going to say this is an exact guy who's going to go to Seattle because they're going to throw is, uh, money at a guy who's hit 30 home runs and he's going to go there and probably hit like 23 home runs for the next yeah. four years. The next gonna Nelson be, Cruz. Is going to be that what Teoscar Hernandez did and have his worst year of his career with Seattle, then go to the Dodgers and be amazing. <laughs> That's what right handed hitters do. Beltre had four years yeah. in Seattle where his war was great, but he couldn't hit for power because of that park. And then he went to Fenway and went nuts. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, um, who hasn't predicted him yet, Ty? Um, you know what? I'm going to say the Tigers. Okay, Ooh. Tigers. Six years and $142 million. Good I'm Lord. Gonna, I'm going to say the Tigers. Can you well, imagine well, if your team, Ty, guarantees $280 no. million I wouldn't, I wouldn't love it, but to Santander and Javi Baez? Do you don't – so a lot of people watching might not know this, but the Tigers, like they haven't spent a lot of money – Except on guys named Kenta Maeda and Javi Baez. Hmm. And Kenta Maeda and Javi Baez made up like 57% of their payroll this year. And they need offense. Yes. So if all the guys we've talked about so far go to other teams and the Tigers okay. decide, look, we've got Scooble. I think the Tigers actually might bring back Jack Flaherty. I think there's um, you know, some different pieces that they try to get into place. And they just sort of like, look, we got to get some more offense. I don't know. Who knows? It could be one of one of these guys. Maybe Pete Alonso goes to the Tigers. I don't know. Okay, we'll see. All right, let's get to Willie Adamas before we get I, to uh, too I'm long. Saying, 
I'm saying he's signed with the Orioles. Oh, okay. He's staying. Okay. Willie Adamas. Uh, Scott said Orioles. Wait, Chris said – Chris, who did you say? You said Mar Mariners? Who did? Yeah, Mariners. Yeah, I think Jeff and I said Mariners. Yeah, you both did. Yeah. Willie Adamas is a Dodger. That's my pick. Makes too much sense. Yeah. I mean, I, the last three years I thought he was going to be a Dodger, but the, the Brewers kept competing. So they kept him. Yeah, yeah, I think he's going to the Dodgers. Yeah, I've, I heard like a couple Braves people. Like I know Jeff Francoeur was saying the Braves need to go after this guy, but I just don't think they're going to they're gonna roll with RCF for another year. He's super cheap and his defense is great. And theoretically, if healthy, their offense should be good enough that they don't need to pay for that. Dodgers just make – it makes a lot of sense, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Like Edmund was, was perfectly capable of playing shortstop. I don't know. Where else could he go? It's too bad the Tigers. Reds are. Every Tigers. single. Yeah, you guys should just honestly just release Javi Baez. Eat the money. Well, and just they need to. I'm going. They need to. Just get rid of him. Somebody shoot him in the leg and get him out of here. Yeah. So here's Willie Adamas expected home runs. Number one, of course, is Great America. Not too surprising. Yeah. Number two is Milwaukee. Maybe he just stays with the Brewers. And then well, number two. We'd love to, but they're not going to pay for him. Yeah, Milwaukee's three. The Dodgers are his second best ballpark. If he'd played all of his games in LA, he would have 40 home runs this year. So seems yeah, like a good fit. He's a great the locker room guy. Yeah, I can't I can't be mad at him. Go get paid, but we'll miss him because he was really a good mentor for Cheerio this year. He's a good defender. His bat will play well in LA. They need a shortstop. So I, it makes too much sense. He could be the guy, the veteran presence that say the Nationals bring in to sort of anchor their infield and sort of guide their younger players and get C.J. Abrams off a of shortstop where, good Lord, it's hard to watch. He's so that's, bad. That's true, except I guess I, you have to wonder how how much winning is important to him. He's going to get his biggest contract ever. True. Um, but, yeah. Right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the Nationals just for the sake of saying something different. There you go. There you go. Tigers could sign Brewers projected star. Two I'm going Tigers. Okay. Anybody else we want to talk about? Let me just hurry and look real quick. We have Marcel Azuna, Christian Walker. Let's just there's say one quick. Of the guy, go ahead. Just I was quick, say there's Christian one guy Walker. I want to talk to. The guy I want the Braves to go sign is is stupid. And I can't believe I'm even saying this because he's a relief pitcher. But I want the Braves to go sign Tanner Scott. Uh, he was the guy on the Marlins who was traded yeah. to San Diego. He's lefty. He throws hard as hell. And he was just filthy in the playoffs. When yeah. the Braves won the World Series, they did it with left-handed firepower with like Freed, Matzik, Minter coming out of the bullpen. And I think you need that. That's a guy that, that takes a competing playoff team and pushes them over the edge, but he's probably going to be expensive. Cause I'm guessing the Dodgers, Yankees, all these like big, big market guys are going to go after him. Your anyway, profile is a pretty random guy. There's a lot of good players you can talk about. Ozuna, Christian right. Walker, Cody, Cody Bell, interesting with Chicago. Yeah, Walker, I, Walker would be a good, a good Yankee fit. I know you'd mentioned that, Scott. Yep. If, yeah. if they get Soto, he might be too expensive, but if not, he fits really Correct. well. Yep. Jack Flaherty is a good one that we can talk about. We didn't talk <laughs> about um Tay Oscar. He's staying with the Dodgers. I think we all agree with that one, right? I think they, I, I yeah. Walker yeah. Bueller would be interesting. He could First, come to Atlanta. Suarez on Vanderbilt. His option was picked up, so he's staying, I believe. Anyways, Montgomery's going to be interesting. He's going to bounce back. He's staying, though. His option, he, he was a player option. And he Look stayed. at that war. Look at that war. Woof. Dude, he, he took that war. player option just to stick it to the owner who called him out on the on radio, right? What an amazing yeah. interview that was. Gosh, yeah. can you imagine? This is an interesting signing. Tyler O'Neill. Yep. I could see him, I know, going to New York on a cheap deal. Yeah. When he's healthy, he's he's hits yeah. bombs. Yeah, a lot of bombs per game. Where's uh, Jesse Tinker Winker here? Tinky Winky. Oh boy, not Milwaukee. He didn't make that list. No, no, he doesn't Verdugo. belong on the list. Mookie Betts trade. He sucks, Verdugo. Yeah, he sure does. Not great. Hey, random baseball card fact: in Heritage in 2018, um, Walker Bueller's rookie card is a dual rookie, and the other guy on it is Alex Verdugo. It is. You're right. And, yeah, uh, yeah. You're right. They met up to end the World Series. That's kind of cool. There's a really great. Is it Throwback Thursday? There's a Throwback Thursday rookie of Acuna, Soto, and Alex Verdugo, and one other guy as well from 2018. That's worth. Yeah, quite it's like that four person. Yeah. Auto. So okay, Goldschmidt's the number 41 ranked 
player, and they say his number one fits the Yankees and the Mariners and the D-backs. I think those all make a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, hey, look at that like, last team on the list. He's played very well against Milwaukee. He has great numbers in that ballpark. That'd be cool. I'd be cool with any of those teams. Uh, Jeff, but- is that the first time the Brewers were mentioned? <laughs> Probably on number 41. <laughs> right below that, uh, if you scroll down, it was 42. That was Hoskins, who has uh, re-signed with the Brewers, so he's back. Really? How much? Was it a player option or something? Yeah. Uh, Not he, great. Yeah, it's. A, I think so. It's. I think this year is an 18.5 million number. Where's Tay Oscar? He's the number like 20. I just said yeah, he's going to the Dodgers. I He'll probably him. stay there. Unless the Red Sox throw a bunch of money at him because he wanted there was some issue he wanted to go to Boston and they were just like not interested. But hey, Oscar cried in front of the entire stadium and said how much he loves the Dodgers. He's a good guy. I like him. Yeah. He's, no, I, he's not leaving. No, I, I wouldn't think so. Unless they just don't want him back, but they should. He was a really good fit for them. He was, yeah. He's great for them. Okay. Anyways, um, Jeff Hoffman, no one cares. He kind of blew the game for the Phillies. All right. Well, that's a good place to wrap this up. Pretty long episode, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you in the next video.